Our story begins in 1860s Georgia. Young Charles Edward Wilder joined the renowned Georgia 17th Infantry Regiment, fighting as a private for the Confederacy in the U.S. Civil War. The 17th Regiment was famous for fighting in many of the Civil War's most important battles, including the Seven Days Battle, the Battle of Second Manassas, and the Battle of Gettysburg. During the Battle of Gettysburg, the regiment was part of an attack on Union soldiers defending the Devil's Den at the foot of Little Round Top. That day, the 17th Brigade captured 300 prisoners and valuable momentum in the battle. However, by the end of Gettysburg, Charles Wilder had lost over 100 of his brothers, nearly a third of the 350 soldiers who saw action at that bloody battle. After the war, Charles received a 10-acre plot of land, along with two mules outside of Albany, Georgia, as payment for his service. The land was covered with virgin longleaf pine trees that had sprouted and then been allowed to grow untouched on the property for more than 200 years. These trees served as timber for the house Wilder built in the early 1880s, and for over a century, this house was called a home. The heart pine wood that served as the bones of this house stood firm against wind and rain, endured the constant punishment of work boots, falling toys, and family pets, and served as the foundation for a southern family. By the turn of the next century, the wear and tear became too much, and the house was torn down in 2006. As luck would have it, on the day the house was disassembled, Michael Outlaw, a custom furniture builder and avid drummer was driving through town. Always on the lookout for interesting building materials, Michael asked the workers if he could have some of the pine wood. Fortunately, the historic wood avoided its destiny as useless garbage and was loaded into the back of Michael's truck before the dump truck could haul it off to the landfill. When Michael returned to his shop and made his first cut, the beauty and the aroma of the rare wood, now over 300 years old, inspired him. Always interested in drum construction, Michael knew this heart pine wood was the perfect choice for building a unique, quality snare drum. Michael knew that first drum wouldn't be his last, and since that day, he has continued to search for more opportunities to reclaim wood from barns, houses, and mills built before 1900 to make his unique outlaw drums. He gives this American wood a new lease on life, so when you purchase an outlaw snare drum, you know you are not just getting a superior instrument, but a piece of history.